Happy day, guys. Back at it. Snapolitical in the building. So let's tap in. You already know what to do. Subscribe to the channel, share the video, and keep giving me the feedback. I love engaging with, with you guys. I love engaging with you guys. Let's go. Okay, so we know what's been going on with the political. I mean, I'm just, I've never seen politics this way ever in my life growing up in the U.S. And I've seen several presidencies, was not engaged like I am now, but was aware based off of how my parents were talking. And as I grew up, I learned. And when Obama was in office, I really, really became more aware and wanted to learn a little bit more about politics, but didn't dive in like I am now which fast forward to this video we're about to discuss. I'm really disappointed as to how my state, my home state is going about this. We've learned that there could be some other motives involved about why Fannie Willis is going about it the way she's going about it. It's, it's unheard of. I'm just really upset about it. I really am. Cause I don't, I, I don't like the fact of a former US president being fingerprinted and indicted on charges that other president, former people who were in office for president has done the same thing. Let's tap into this video though. House committee is launching a probe into Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis's handling of the indictment of I'm former glad. President Donald Trump and 18 other co-defendants. It is also demanding she turn over information on the investigation. 11 Lives Don White is at the Fulton County Jail with the details of this probe. I'm glad. It's all quiet now here at the Fulton County Jail, one day after former U.S. President Donald Trump turned himself in here, but now the tables are turned with the federal government looking into the district attorney. There would be a question about what type of oversight Congress would have necessarily over a state investigation here. U.S. House Judiciary Committee Chair Jim Jordan sent Willis this letter. Okay, so I'm just glad that we have checks and balances. It doesn't seem like it because of what's going on. We still got Janky Joe in office still. But we have checks and balances in our government, and I'm so glad that we have people who are still not afraid to speak out and do what they said they were going to do for us as U.S. citizens and then as citizens. And they came, you know, they came to win. And I'm talking about how this congressman was, wasn't afraid to go ahead and get this letter typed up and sent like, hold up, this ain't it. No, let's check. Let's check this. So glad we have checks and balances, guys asking how she got information during the investigation. It's not surprising uh, that Jim Jordan would issue this type of letter. Um, he's a well-known ally of President Trump. Jordan also asked Willis if she contacted the Department of Justice or White House officials during her investigation or used any federal money for it. I think it's actually pretty telling that Congressman Jordan in this letter is asking specifically for ways that the Fulton County DA may have been in contact with federal authorities because mm. that might be the door that actually allows for an investigation. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So bad. 11 Alive political analyst Dr. Andre Gillespie says the big question here is if Willis cooperates with the Judiciary Committee. We could be talking about, you know, the idea that Fannie Willis gets some type of uh, reprimand, that she would be held in contempt of Congress, for instance, for not showing up when asked to appear. The committee also wants to know if Willis consulted with special counsel Jack Smith, who also brought charges against the former president. Okay, okay, and okay. When I started seeing videos about this, when I started seeing videos about this, I was infuriated because of how everything was going down. It just didn't seem right. Let's fast forward to this, what's going on in this video. I'm so glad that the, judici the Judiciary Committee is tapping in and, and willing to dig deep and let's, let's, call, let's call her up and, and ask these questions and get some real clarity because something don't seem all the way right. I just wanted to go further because we know that something don't seem all the way right, but your president is still in office. The son still has not gone to jail for all the evidence, all the facts, all the bank statements, all the whistleblowers. Still, nothing truly has transpired. It keeps getting put off. And then they file a charge against Trump. I just, I don't get it. But, oh, I get it. But what, what I'm saying is, I'm glad that we have the checks and balances and people aren't afraid to open their mouths and really Congress and do something. So yes, I, let's stay tuned. Let's stay tuned. Give me some comments. Let me know what you guys are thinking. And I'm going to do a video and I want to dive deeper into who 
this person is because there have been several other videos that I've looked at and they talked about some other things based off of her running a campaign. And this trial with Trump, the indictments, all of this pressing, all of the 18 lawyers that were 18 lawyers, lawyers, okay, indicted. All of this is a string of things that's connected to something bigger and that's her re-election. So yeah, let's tap in. I'm gonna do some, definitely I'm, di I'm digging, I'm digging. Thank you, House Judici uh, Judiciary Committee for stepping up and, and sending, I mean, he sent the letter. Was it the next day? <laughs> Typing away, got the letter out. Let's go. So stay tuned for more guys. Keep being investigative researchers of your own. Be thinkers. Do not follow the crowd because they're going off the ship and you see a long line. I mean, I'm sorry, going off a cliff and you just want to go right behind them. Don't do it. Do your own homework. I love you guys. I appreciate all of your support. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next episode of Snapolitical. Yeah.